Co-Composer Studio is an integrated development environment for the Texas Instruments Embedded Portfolio. When you run Co-Composer Studio, it will prompt you to select a workspace. A workspace is a folder on your computer that is a default location for all of your projects and preferences. Co-Composer Studio automatically configures itself to use a free license that supports working with the XTS100 and ICDI class debug probes, as well as development boards that have onboard debug capabilities, with the exception of MSP development boards. For MSP users, it supports working with any development board, but limits the code size to 16 kilobytes for MSP430 and 32 kilobytes for MSP432 if you're using the optimized TI compiler. If you use GCC, which is available from the App Center, there is no code size limit. The window that you see now is the Getting Started view. It provides quick access to a number of common actions, such as creating new projects or browsing examples. You can also access the online support community, watch videos on the Code Composer Studio YouTube channel, visit the training site, or browse resources on the Code Composer Studio developers wiki. Another thing you can do from the Getting Started view is enable Simple Mode. Simple Mode strips down the user interface to just its basic functionality to make it easier to get started if you're more com comfortable with a simplified environment. Let's create a new project. I'll click on the New Project button. And this launches the Project Wizard. First, I must specify the device I'm creating a project for. As I type, the selections in the device box will be filtered, making it easier to find the one I'm looking for. I can specify the type of debug probe that I'm using. For this device, its default option applies to me. Next, I need to give the project a name. Here, I can see where the project is going to be created. By default, this is within your workspace folder. But if you uncheck the box and specify a location, it will be created there instead. You can select a version of the TI or GCC compiler that you wish to use. And down at the bottom, there is a selection of basic templates that you can base your project on. For a greater selection of examples, you can use the Resource Explorer, which will be shown later. I'm going to select the template to blink the LED. We can now click on Finish and create the project. On the left-hand side of the screen is the Project Explorer. This is your main window for managing projects. Note that in Code Composer Studio, projects are folder-based. If you copy a file into your project folder, it will automatically be considered part of the project. When you add source files to your project, you can choose to either add them to the project, in which case they will be copied to the project folder, or you can choose to link them to the project. When linking files, they are left in their original location and the project will just have a reference to the file. Inside the project, you will see a number of files and folders that were added by the project wizard. The includes folder contains all the compiler search paths for the header files that have been specified in the project option. You can expand these and see all the files that are located in them. The target configs folder will be present if you specify the debug connection when generating a project. Inside the folder will be a CCXML file, 
which is the target configuration file. The target configuration file contains the information necessary to establish a connection to your device, including the debug probe used and the device or board connected to it. The source files that are part of your project are shown. And you can see a CMD file. This is a linker command file. The linker command file specifies the device memory map for the linker, so the linker knows how to place your program code and data in memory. When you click on the Bug button, it will build the active project, if it needs to be built, and then launch the debugger, load the program, and run to main. When the debugger is launched, the way Code Composer Studio looks has changed. This is because it has switched from the edit perspective to the debug perspective. A perspective is an arrangement of menus, toolbar buttons, and windows. The edit perspective is tailored to writing code and building projects. The debug perspective is set up for debugging activities. By having specialized perspectives, you're able to have only those windows and views open that are applicable to what you are doing. On the toolbar, you can see which perspective you're in and can switch between perspectives by simply clicking on the one that you want. One of the most important windows in the debug perspective is the debug view. It shows you the active debug sessions, their state, and the call stack. The debug view controls the context of other views. Clicking on an item in the call stack, or in the case of a multi-core device, clicking on a core, will change the context of what is displayed in the other views to match what is selected in the debug view. On the main toolbar, you can see buttons for controlling the debug session. The connect button will connect or disconnect the debugger from the device. You can specify a program to load. The resume button runs the program. The suspend button halts the program. The terminate button will end the debug session and return to the edit perspective. There are buttons for stepping, you can reset the device, and the restart button will return the program to its entry point. To keep things simple, by default only a few windows are open. To access additional views, use the view menu. By selecting an item here, like the breakpoints view. It will open it in the current perspective. When you're finished with a debug session, click on the Terminate button. And it will shut down the debugger and return to the Edit perspective. Next, let's take a look at the App Center. The App Center is used to obtain extra features that are not part of the standard CCS installation, like GUI Composer and Uniflash. You can even download and install various versions of the TI and GCC compiler. Brand new to 6.2.0 is the new and improved Resource Explorer. You can open the new Resource Explorer from the Examples button on the Getting Started view or by selecting Resource Explorer on the View menu.
currently a beta version, the new Resource Explorer allows you to explore the latest available documentation, libraries, and examples for a variety of targets. The displayed content can be filtered for a particular device or board to only view applicable content. All of the content is accessed online but can be downloaded to your local desktop environment. Let's select an example project for the MSP432 Launchpad and start using it. I will use the filter to display content for just the MSP432 Launchpad. I'm going to set up the timer example for that board. As you can see, there are a large selection of examples available. I can browse the project and view the source files. When I use the option to import the project into my local workspace, I will be prompted to first download and install the software package associated with the project. I can do this with the Install to Desktop button and selecting the option to make the content available offline. This will start the download and depending on the package this can take some time. Once the download and installation is completed, note the green arrows for the MSPWare package. This indicates that the package contents have been installed locally on my machine. Now we can then try to import the IDE again. This will import the project and see here that it is listed. I can select on the project to make it active and then I can build and debug the project. As you can see, the new Resource Explorer makes it very easy to find, install, and start working with examples. The executable generator project is now loaded on the device and ready to use. Also still available is the original Resource Explorer that came with earlier versions of CoComposer Studio version 6. Renamed Resource Explorer Classic, it can still be used to browse older locally installed packages that do not conform to the new Resource Explorer format. If you have questions on how to use CoComposer Studio, there are a number of resources available to you. The CoComposer Studio YouTube channel has a large number of quick tip and tutorial videos. The CoComposer Studio Development Wiki has a wide range of app notes and training material. And the E2E support community is a great place for getting answers to questions. All of these resources are available from the Getting Started view as well as the Help menu. Thank you for choosing TI 